Hello everybody and welcome into the SFA Season 12 Week 6 Game Day Game. We have a good one for you today between the Cal Golden Bears and the UCLA Bruins. Cal made the playoff last year, but they've struggled out of the gate at 2-2. Two and, two. and UCLA, after going to, um, pretty much winless last year, uh, they've started out pretty nicely, 2-2. Two and two. They were ranked for a little bit as well. Should be a great game. Let me know if you can hear me. Um, as always... Uh, the SFA, it is a online dynasty, ran entirely through Discord. Uh, you do not need the game. You can recruit. You can um, be a coordinator for another coach, take a head coach job, build your way, build your program, build your coaching persona. You can also participate in things like server games, um, like uh, we have Bear Cave, um, uh, fantasy football, as well as a fully functional sports book that you can have fun with for rewards in the server. If that's something you enjoy, uh, check out the links in any of our descriptions, as well as if you do watch live, you might run into an ad or two. Uh, feel free to drop a Twitch Prime. It is free. You just have to link your Amazon Prime account, and uh, you'd be supporting the SFA and, uh, and helping contribute to somebody's national championship trophy. I'll actually send to their house if they win it. Um, we got a good one today. I am very sad off of a loss and overtime to Wisconsin, so um, I'm still recovering there, but definitely excited for this game today. Um, ECU just blew their 16-game home winning streak. UCLA trying to erase their 16-home game losing streak, as UE is pointing out in the chat. Uh, so should be a really fun one today. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Once again, let me know if you can hear me, as always. And we are going to get right into it. Um, bottom line, we do have Patreon. If you want some additional, um, you know, additional content, additional games, there is no pay to win. Uh, feel free to check it out. A uh, lot of fun uh, things you can do with that. We also, I just launched an Instagram. Don't quite know what I'm going to do with it yet, but if you want to follow it, um, it is just Simulated Football Association on Insta. Uh, I'm going to hopefully post some fun things on there. Uh, maybe do coach interviews, something like that. So. Um, just check it out if you would like. Um, but yeah, we got a fun one here. Obviously, Cal, it's pretty much a one-man show, and that man is Chad Blunt, freshman All-American last year. He completely popped off, struggled this year. He had an injury in one of their losses as well. Uh, but he's going to be basically the entire key to the Cal game today. At running back, they do have Sean Seymour, 78 overall, so we should see what he can do. Um, and then at wide receiver, we're, we will be seeing Daniel Neal, Darius Toth, James Adams, and Eric Thompson. Uh, Eric Hunter is the tight end. They do have a decent offensive line here, so all 80, so, uh, besides the right tackle, so that should be pretty good. On defense, you got Daniel Ward. On the other side, you got Willie Moore, who is their impact player. And then Martindale and Durbin in the middle. And linebacker position, you got Larson, Owens, and Desmond Harris, he's probably the highest overall on this defense. And then out wide, they really have one good corner, and then it kind of falls off quite a bit. And then in the back, uh, Nick Miller and you have Mike Hill, both pretty slow. And then kicker is not a good one, Corey Murphy. Let's check out his stats. 63-63, so Cal will not be settling for a lot of field goals today. And now we're going to go check out Yui's team. Uh, Coach Yui, her first time ever on game day, led by Traverius Trace, the sophomore, um, having an okay start to this year after a terrible freshman year. But the man, the myth, the legend, he leads the nation in rushing yards, AJ Pinball Sampson. Um, 84 overall at this point. He has some gnarly drip, so we'll see what he can do today. Um, and then at wide receiver, you got Blake Watts, Travis Bennett, Maurice Warren and Clint Bonner and then tight end you got Adam Boyd and then offensive line is a little bit weaker than Cal so I like UCLA's weapons on offense but they have a little bit worse of an offensive line and then obviously the quarterback goes to Cal so I'd say about the same level offenses on defense Neil Scott is hurt um, but you got Steve George on the other side in the middle you have Wilson and Slaughter and then Wilkinson at linebacker. You got Dodds in the middle and Hines on the other side. And then at corner, they have two really good corners. You got Dixon and Bentley. And then it kind of falls off a little bit. Both teams have pretty deep uh, corner rooms, though. And then in the back, you got Spurlock as well as Keith Johnson, uh, the transfer portal guy, Aaron Johnson. Um, 
will be the starter next year most likely and then their kicker they have a lot better of one we've seen him already on a patreon game of the week 85 kick and 85 accuracy so he should pop off all right so yui uh let me know what jerseys you want i'm pretty sure ecu doesn't have or ecu they're on my brain I'm pretty sure UCLA doesn't have crazy combos, but I will go through them. I'm going to get my thumbnail first, and then I'm going to set the prediction, and then we'll look at it. But we got Cal and UCLA. This should be a really fun one. Excited for this game, even though I'm very sad about my own lo <laughs> loss. Um, all right, so as always for the prediction, it's just going to be a straight up who wins. Are you going to go with California or UCLA? You got two minutes on this prediction. Get those Bobanos going. All right. All right, so UCLA, they only have the gold helmets. And then for jerseys, it's just the blue and white and only gold pants. So do you want to wear blue or do you want to wear white, Yui? Yeah, blue and gold. Perfect. All right. So for Cal... Let's see. I know that they have this fun helmet. I think I got to go with it. I love that helmet. We're not going to go gold. That's just gross. They're wearing blue, so I think we got to go all whites. So we got the throwback helmet against the all blues. Nine minutes on the clock. Yes, a uh, pretty close game overall wise. Um, Cal lost a lot of good players, and they don't have a user, obviously, to uh, re-up. And recruiting for Cal probably isn't the greatest, so it's really all on Chad Blunt right now. Got a little bit of time here. Um, get those predictions. If you pick Cal, it looks like you are going to get some nice points. So throw those points out there. Remember, we just introduced coordinators as well, so uh, you got to verify your account in the Discord if you do want to sign a coordinator. Um, feel free to recruit your friends um, or uh, people you know. I'm also going to start advertising as well. Um, looks like, um, well, we have eight viewers. There you go. Now you got some money rolling in. People might be afraid to bet on this game. It's pretty close, so... Big game today. Oh, boy. Dude. I, uh, I can't believe I lost. Another heartbreaker. All right. Hopefully, you, you don't experience the same fate today. Hopefully, you just blow them out. Remember, guys, uh, recruiting as well coming right after the stream. Um, so... We are going off here on game day. Week 6 incoming. Hype, hype, hype. UCLA, they start out hot, 2-0, and and then they've dropped their last two. Cal, the exact opposite, started out hot, and now they've dropped in. Now we've got rain here and the Rose Bowl. It's not going to be that delicious of a game today. That's actually that's actually uh, cool though, cause um, in my Instagram post I made for game day, it was raining when I jumped in, so it's continuing the rain the second time around. Yeah, that's true, Nick. That's a tough way to start the season. The lucky thing for the SEC though is your schedule does get easier, but yeah, four is you're you're out of uh, playoff contention, unfortunately. As well as Yui is a Patreon member, so she does have her own music, which we will play when they score. As always, when I play it, let me know um, if it's loud enough or if we want it to be um, a little bit louder. Yo, it, dude, it's been raining a lot. Every, every year we have like a month or two that's just like straight rain. Normally like June gloom or early like January, February. But obviously this game would be in like October, so 
cloudy day. I actually don't see a lot of rain. It just might be overcast. Yeah, I don't see any rain. So it's just an overcast day, a gross day. As Yui will start out with the ball. Welcome in, Nathan Cardinals. And we are off here on game day. We're going to see Tavarius Trace and AJ Sampson first up. Massive game here today, especially for a struggling Pac-12. Um, as a reminder, though, UCLA has lost 16 straight games at home, dating all the way back to Season 9. So we're going to see if they can make history here. As we just saw some history in the game before this, where ECU hadn't lost at home since Season 9, and they just lost to Wisconsin. So... Nice little start there, a dump off. You just got to get, um, you got to get Tavarius Trace and A.J. Sampson in rhythm. These are by far the two best players on this offense. Um, no other SFA players to watch out for. On the defense, they have no SFA players starting. So third and five early on for Yui. Trace. Throws that to the corner and a nice throw to Maurice Warren. They give him the first down. So first drive off to a good start here. Trace two for two. Man, starting three and one when you've been a... Oh, and we get an immediate sack there off the edge for Daniel Ward. Blindside hit. Almost knocked the ball out on Tavarius. I mean, Dogwater, let's be real. Three and one start when I've been a uh, playoff favorite for five years now. Rough. All right, AJ Sampson in motion. He's out for a pass. He dumps this off, though, the other way. Gets back to the original line to gain. So third and 10 incoming. Another third down early for UCLA. Can they keep the drive alive? Trace. He's yamming this one deep and he connects! Travis Bennett gets the feed in. Trace put it right where we where it had to be. Tiptoes in and the drive is continuing. Oh, the the pack well, the pack as a whole is struggling. But Tavarius Trace, one of the uh the best quarterback in that class. At least coming out. Oh, look at Pinball Sampson get six on that one. We're hoping for a big day for for Sampson as he is on my fantasy team. Trace, second and four. Big drive early on. You got to punch Cal in the mouth. And he gets the flip off to Sampson. And no, he doesn't break the tackle. Right as Yui's brags about, doesn't go down on first contact. He goes down on first contact. What likely would have been a touchdown. Another third down here early on. They converted the first two. Can UCLA punch Cal in the mouth? Oh, and he's going to be sacked again. Daniel Ward off the edge once again. This time it's a coverage sack. But forcing UCLA to settle for a field goal here early. Trace just couldn't find anybody, couldn't escape. Yeah, that was a Yui curse on that one. All right, so field goal team coming out. This is a 42-yarder for Wisebacker. The kick is good. So UCLA takes the first lead of the day, as we saw this one earlier. The upsets just kept coming this week. You had Baylor lose. You had ECU lose um, just in the top 10 or in the top 5. So lots of change in the rankings coming next week. Remember, you can submit your own polls if you want, um, and they will be counted as long as they're not mean polls. All right, so now we're going to get to see Chad Blunt, his first time we've seen him on uh, any sort of gameplay since playing Ohio State in the playoff in his freshman year, they held their own, had the lead in the third quarter until they eventually lost 2-2 two two on the year so far. Not this kind of start they wanted. 
But what can Chad Blunt do? He's going to keep it himself this time. He stiffies one. Remember, this offense is pretty much all Chad Blunt. So we're going to see what they do. He is a lefty. They're wearing their alternate helmets here. No deep safeties here as Chad Blunt keeps it again, and he goes down. So going backwards here early, Keith Johnson makes both tackles. The safety playing up near the line. Oh, my, and he hit him pretty hard right there. Yeah, Flame, I mean, you don't feel like a top 10 team, but you might end up being one. <laughs> All right, and oh, and there he is, Chad Blunt finding Darius Roth wide open on the sideline. Both teams converting on third down early. That's the Chad Blunt special. He throws piss missiles all over the field. He throws one beautiful ball. Seymour in the backfield along with Blunt. Hand off to Seymour. And oh man, making tackles early. Is that Keith Johnson again? It is. The safety coming up and making plays early on in the backfield. His second tackle for loss. These teams are overall wise super even. All right, so a nice little gain there for Seymour. Third and five. Third and five, Chad Blunt. Nice little formation with the tight end here. They just delay handoff. He moves a bit, and oh, who else but uh, the linebacker Andy Dodds making tackle, and Seymour is hurt. All right, so an early loss here for Cal as they are punting it. UCLA uh, might be taking the opening frame. All right, fourth. And this is going to be returnable, and that goes nowhere. So UCLA coming back out on the field. Might be a little disappointed with that field goal early on. Seymour will be out for two quarters, so he'll come back after halftime. Hand off here, and Samson, there he is. There's pinball Samson, breaking three tackles like it's nothing. Nine-yard gain. A regular running back would have been stopped for a loss right there. Just shooing defenders. You cannot go for arm tackles on A.J. Pinball Sampson. Tight end in motion. Hand off again. Sampson up the middle. Another first down. Don't bother risking Trace. Just run it up the gut with Sampson. All right, oh boy, we get a pitch here, and it does work. Luckily, gets back to the line of scrimmage. I've never been a fan of the hand warmer, but with the UCLA colors, it kind of looks cool on Samson, especially on a cloudy day. Second and 10 here, Samson. No, Trace keeps it. He's not known for his speed, but he gets a little bit here. So a manageable third down. They're already two of three on the day. Dumps it off. They get the first down. And Law Mori broke and tackle the tight end. Go down the sideline. He's finally pushed out. Adam Boyd, big man play. You love to see tight ends making massive plays in the pass game. Um... If I promise day, someone day one starter, if they play bad game one, can I bench them and not be penalized? It's really a case-by-case -case scenario, um, Florida man. So, like, like it's really not encouraged. Um, I'd like them to play at least, you know, maybe, what, a quarter of the season, three games or something. But, like, there's no point in doing that because then you're just wasting a year of eligibility for an SFA player. So, um, while... Technically, that probably I wouldn't penalize you for it. It's that's kind of an L for only 10k pitch um, bonus. 
Oh, Samson stays up. So long story short, technically, yes, but it's uh, frowned upon. All right, third and eight. Again, UCLA's been good on third down. Can they do it again? Third and eight inside the 20. Trace by himself. Dumps that one off to Boyd again. That goes nowhere. Field goal team coming right back out. All right, Weisbacker, can he do it again? We saw him make quite a few field goals against SMU week one. Oh, and this one goes off the upright, and it's a miss. Oh, my, what a missed opportunity here right off the upright. All right, Cal comes right back out here. They hand it off. This is the backup running back, Jason Matthews. He was the starter last year, um, as we won't see Seymour for another two quarters. Yui, I feel you on that one. <laughs> All right, first down here, or second and five, Chad. He's yamming that one across the middle, and there you go. Darius Toth again early on, his favorite target. Chad Blunt, as a lefty, throws a beautiful ball, which you rarely see, as lefties typically have disgusting arm motions. All right. As the first quarter, it, quarter is coming to the end. Handoff here out wide. This is Toth on the handoff. He finds some room. They over-pursued it. Toth down the sideline. Looks like Keith Johnson, who's been playing well in the backfield, just completely un, um, overestimated the speed of Toth and overran that play. So as the first quarter comes to an end here, UCLA. And so the underbetters today are probably licking their chops right now. Let me see what the over-under was for this game. Over-under was 53.5 today, so this could be a easy... One as another connection to Toth as we flip sides. Cal immediately in business. I think this is one of those games that I was um, too close for my algorithm to call on a winner. Let me check. Yep, this was too close to call. So Cal now. Hands it off to Jason Matthews. They're starting to move the rock a little bit. UCLA opening up some holes. Second and three. Chad Blunt is starting to cook. Man in motion. Little triple option coming through. And he flips it. That was risky. Dodds, the linebacker, made Chad Blunt think he was going to cover him, and then he immediately went for the pitch. Man, that was almost a turnover. Chad Blunt had a touchdown, but the lack of awareness and experience, I guess, in the option game right there really hurt him. So now UCLA has a chance to uh, force a field goal. Third and seven. Blunt. Throws it to the end zone. Touchdown, California. Jason Matthews out of the backfield. No one had him as Cal takes a lead here in the second. That was potentially some, uh, some illegal touching, but it was not called. So Cal takes an early lead off of the missed field goal. So early on, it looks like uh, the pass defense has been an issue for UCLA. As you see, or uh, Bobson Dugnut, a uh, Knicks guy, um, 77 yards and a touchdown today. He, I think he's having a pretty good opening to his season. And Tulane, the team that beat this UCLA team last week, is still undefeated. Remember, folks, to submit your... Uh, your rankings after each week, it will be tallied in our official coaches poll as long as it's not a meme ranking. Rankings are due tomorrow night. 
All right, so how do they respond? They had a field goal, then a missed field goal. Stalling out around the 20 every time. Sampson breaks two tackles. AJ Sampson, he doesn't look like a power back, but man, when he makes contact, he enjoys it. Second and three. Split back formation. Eric Lane now in the game. And he's hit as he throws and he connects. UCLA looked to be running four verts there on the uh, cover zero. And it works out as Tavares Trace stood in there, took a hit, and delivered a bullet. He is yet to throw an incompletion. So a big play there for UCLA. They're getting aggressive on defense, trying to contain A.J. Sampson, as well as uh, Tavares Trace has not had a great start to his career. Definitely a better start uh, this season, um, but definitely Cal trying to make the young quarterback nervous with these blitzes. Second and one. Hands it off to Sampson again, and this time he's wrapped up in the backfield. Third and four incoming. Massive tackle by Mike Hill. That's the second time he's brought down Sampson solo on the outside. So third and four once again in opponent territory. Can they keep the drive alive? This is no man's land, so potentially four down. He's throwing that deep. He connects. That's the Maurice Warren, I believe, the uh, slot receiver. And a, and a massive play once again. Trace is cooking early. Finds his man in double coverage. First and goal. Can UCLA finally punch it in for a tutty? Oh, oh my God. What a tackle. These animations are going crazy today. All right, second and goal from the five. Split back set. Watch the triple option. Second and goal. No, they're going to throw it. And he dumps that off to Warren again. He only gets about two. So Warren has been the main target. Already up to six receptions here in the first half. Third and goal from the two. Can UCLA punch it in? Hands it off to Sampson, up the gut, touchdown UCLA! They take the lead here in the second quarter. Uh, let me know if it is too loud or, um, or not loud enough, the touchdown music, Yui, and those watching. Rick does a fantastic job with these. I can't hear it on stream when I'm streaming, but I already listened to it. It's pretty cool. It's good? All right, perfect. As Boise State, what are you doing, man? Chum Toad might be a coordinator next season. All right. Yui said it's quiet. All right, I'll turn it up a little bit for the next time. I turned it up slightly here, so... Should be good. Let's see more impact plays. Pick six right here. So Chad Blunt now back on the offensive with uh, once again losing. Oh, man. The backup Jason Matthews making a statement early on why he should not have lost his starting spot. Hand off. No, Chad. He finds another wide open man. Toth again. Cal, can you please? All right, we're across the 50. Blunt dumps this one off. Another wide open man in the flat. And a massive hit from the defense. My God, Eric Hunter going down. Bring second and three. 
Awesome. I love different flame. Dog water, DM me that, and I'll get it to you. I don't know what uh, game day will be next week. It'll be an interesting choice. All right. So immediately now, Cal is back in business. This Toth guy is going crazy today. It is Oh, boy. He fakes the run. He th throws that, and it's caught. Casey Moore with a catch. His top target gets his first reception. That was a beautiful play design. UCF versus Arkansas State might be a watch party. Um, I don't think that'll be game day. If you had beaten Southern Miss today, then I might have put it as a game day option, but I am I would like to watch UCF versus Arkansas State on game day. That could be, or on a watch party, that could be a fun one. Second and two. Threatening the inside 20, and a big stop there. UCLA's defense coming in hot. Brent Lester. His brother is Mo. Yeah, watching our uh, Chet Doge just runs uh, basically uh, go routes all day and getting 400 yards would be amazing. As third down, we get a screen pass and a first down. They try to rip it out. It does not. One of the scariest mascots in existence there for the Golden Bears. All right, so this is a back and forth. Z neither QB has thrown an incompletion yet. Hand off. No, Blunt keeps it. He has some room. He's pushing. First down, Blunt. We're inside the five. Yeah, Chet would be locked out of fantasy. First and goal. Blunt, he hands it up. Matthews, his second touchdown of the game as the backup running back as Cal Ree takes the lead. Going blow for blow here early. Cal's music is one of my favorite um, in-game songs from when I was a kid playing these games. Like in the menu screens, listening to that, it was always a bop. All right, so a little under three minutes left here in the first half. We've had a great game day so far, very uh, back and forth. Neither team giving an inch. Oh, dear. This is, seems like a heated rivalry. Big hits all over the field. A.J. Sampson has himself a tutty. Jason Matthews has himself two. So first and ten, what is, uh, what is UCLA going to do? Are they going to be able to take the lead back before halftime? Trace. And he's sacked again. No, he breaks tackle, and there is... There is Daniel Ward to clean him up. His third sack of the first half. This man cannot be stopped. Ooh, as Trace keeps it himself. Look at the Aflac question in the in the chat. There are four mascots this week in Bear Cave Game Day that have a golden in the name. What are they? Um, I mean, I know two off the top of my head. Golden. I'm trying to remember even who's on game day. As Trace drops back. All the time in the world. He's yamming that one. He overthrows a wide open man. His first incompletion of the day. And the ball is going back to Cal. Oh. So. Yeah. I got the. Uh, the Gophers is the one I was missing. Yeah. The Golden Gophers. That's right. Because you got uh, the Golden Bears, the Golden Knights, uh, the Golden Eagles, and then the Gopher is the one I was missing. That's a fun question, Nick. All right, Chad Blunt gets it to Daniel Neal now. Second and two. 
Cal, can they do something here? Cross the 50, still two timeouts. Remember, their field goal kicker is pretty trash, so that's probably out of the question unless they get down around the 10-yard line. And we're yamming it deep on blood wide open, man! Toth! Darius Toth! Just destroying this defense early on. They extend the lead to 11. Holy heck. And we are well on our way to uh, hitting the over in this game. 31 already. UE, this pass coverage is getting torched by Chad Blunt. Holy smokes. Yeah, in this universe, no. Bye, Flame. Thanks for watching, as always. All right, so plenty of time, though. Cal left plenty of meat on the bone. Daniel Ward's taken over this game. He's pretty much single-handedly stopped three drives. Um, but a minute 20, three timeouts, plenty of time for UCLA to get back within one score here. They're going to throw it to Samson. You just got to run the offense right through Samson. I mean, you can't rely on Tavarius Trace. So he gets, uh, gets about five here. Gets out of bounds, saves a timeout. And Travis Bennett gets a first down. All right, so UCLA moving the ball early on this drive. Plenty of time, plenty of time. Up to 150 yards in the first half. He's doing all right. Time is running. They still have those three timeouts. Three-man rush. He's throwing that to the sideline. Tiptoed Warren. They give him the catch, at least for now. Maurice Warren using that frame to save another overthrow. Uh, looks like... Um, it looks like Trace is having an issue with those crossbody throws to the left hash. But Warren saves him on that one. The drive's still going. Trace. He's throwing it deep. Oh, my. That one's almost intercepted. He needed to put a little bit of air on that one as Mike Hunt almost takes it. Or Mike Hill. They got lucky. Drive still going. They still have three timeouts. Plenty of time to at least get in field goal range. No need to force anything. And there's another catch to Maurice Warren. He has been all over the field, already up over 100 yards. Eight receptions. Sorry, fruity and slip, Nick. <laughs> As Trace. Oh, he's jamming deep again. And another deflection by Mike Hill. Mike Hill having himself a fantastic day on this defense. Daniel Ward and Hill have been popping off. He just saved two touchdowns there, two tackles for loss, and then Ward with the three sacks. Second and ten now. Another screen pass. Samson, he catches it. What a pancake. All right, so they are in field goal range now for Weisbacker. He does have quite a leg. Third and three. Still sitting on three timeouts here. 39 seconds left. Trace. Once again, a three-man rush. He passes it to Samson out of the backfield. Once again, wherewithal to get out of bounds. Save those timeouts. I'm not sure what Yui is saving them for. Can't take them with you. First and 10, another screen pass. Samson again, and he's caught from behind. He had a lot of room, though, if he was able to get that one. All right, inside the 15, this would be a huge touchdown for UCLA. Second and eight, fakes the handoff. Tries to find Warren, he does, and that's a first down. Warren again. Look at the Cal fans up top, not even looking at the game. <laughs> Hands it off to Samson up the middle. Touchdown, UCLA. They get back within a score right before halftime. What a two-minute drill. Samson doing wonders for my fantasy team. They do not decide to go for two. 
as still the first half, no need. Remember, join us for halftime, folks. Uh, let me know now if the sound is a little bit better, Yui. All right. But was there too much time here for Jason Matthews? Oh, man, he had a chance, but his blocker got in the way. But now uh, Cal might have a chance to get in yam range, and we know we've seen Chad Blunt complete Hail Marys before, a tipped drill. And with this pass coverage the way it's been going, I'm not quite sure if I trust UCLA. Over the middle, it connects again. They call a timeout, 13 seconds left. Chad Blunt is 12 for 12. He's having himself a fantastic day, best game of the year. All right, Chad Blunt, he's yamming this one deep again. Another connection, Darius Toth, number two. My God, what are we witnessing here today? This UCLA defense is getting torched. Just a disgusting display here as we're almost. Oh, we've had three touchdowns here in the last minute and a half of the game. No, Chad, Chad Blunt and Darius Toth are having their way with UCLA. All right, six seconds left for UCLA, probably two plays. I'm um, not sure what they're going to try to do, though. They might just take this one to halftime, down 11. Uh, Cal does get the ball after half. Looks like they might be running a real play here, though. All right, Trace is just going to keep it, and he goes down. One second left, and they do not use the timeout. So as we hit halftime, 28-17, and our sponsor for today is the Pac-12 After Dark over on CSPN, Coach Yui. Uh, one of the best networks out there. Uh, she does previews, she does predictions, and she does um, uh, recaps. And her predictions, when she gets like a game right, the score is almost always super close. I don't know how she does it. Um, but some great content. She even posted a great graphic for this game as well. So check it out, check it out. Our second sponsor of the day is Singo uh, Pest Control. Shout out to uh, Dog Water. He's starting a new company. If you do need pest control in South Carolina or Georgia, um, hey, you know, check them out. Um, use code Josh Allen is mid to be charged five percent extra uh, at checkout. So check them out. Check them out. Um, but yeah, uh, also. I launched a, a Instagram account for the SFA just to have some fun, do some different stuff. So feel free to follow us. It's Simulated Football Association. And uh, also we have Patreon. If you are a coach, um, you get additional game days a week. You get exclusive um, recruiting info. Um, and you get your own music for game days like you've seen already for UCLA. So check it out if you would like. Um, Drop your Twitch Prime subs as we go back into this game. And, I mean, <laughs> the, it's been passing for uh, Chad Blunt. That's been the, the all we've seen today. All right, Dogwater, how did you like the ad plug? <laughs> all right, so Cal's getting the ball here. I love that a... Uh, a South Carolina pest control company is uh, sponsoring a Pac-12 game. <laughs> Darius Toth, what a crazy game he's had today. Six receptions, 181, two touchdowns. Trying to take over Marcus Anderson from Southern Miss as the best game day performance we've ever seen. Yeah, just some more money laundering tactics from Dogwater here as he pays the refs. As, oh my god, we got a lot of room now. And that's Darius Toth again getting involved in the running game. Every time this man touches the ball, it is a banger. A 20-yard plus or a touchdown. Yui, you got to check number 89. Put three guys on him if you have to. Holy hell. We've had already six TDs in this game. 
Chad Blunt throwing it to the sideline. He just throws that one out. His first incompletion of the day. Darius Toth is going to be running in Yui's nightmares all week. <laughs> I like to order a hit on Toth. It's hilarious. As he floats that one out, and oh, what a tackle from the underside. Uh, I thought that was going to be an easy, uh, an easy first down, but the underside corner made the hit. You don't see that too often. Brent Lester on the tackle, brother of Mo. All right, third and one. Chad Blunt, watch the QB draw. He's jamming this deep as he's hit. And, oh, they finally break it up. It was two on one. And they still almost caught it. That would have been an insane catch. And they're going for it here early. They want to extend, extend this lead in no man's land. Fourth and one, Chad Blunt. He throws that wide open man. Toth again down the sideline, 33 yards. You can't make this up. He's over 200. This man has 264 total yards, two TDs. And on fourth and one, they don't check him. What are we watching? What did Yui do to Toth? All right, Toth, one-on-one -on, -one on the top of your screen. First and goal. Chad Blunt keeps it. He goes nowhere. <laughs> Toth doing his best Chet Doge impersonation today. He's at the bottom of the screen. We, at this point, you've got to watch everywhere number 89 goes. As we got a QB power to the other side, and Blunt goes down again. Brent Lester, another tackle for loss. Brother of Mo. Every time he makes a tackle, I have to say brother of Mo. It's hilarious. That's a, that's a joke from the Patreon Watch Party Week 1. Third and goal, though, for Chad Blunt here. Off the back foot, and that is short. He was trying to find a wide-open receiver. And UCLA, you know what? Go ahead, celebrate. You get him off the field, force a field goal attempt here. Keeping it within a two-score game. The kick is up. And it's good. So 14-point lead now for Cal. No lead is safe, obviously. This year we've seen so many leads blown. Uh, 22 points being the most. Uh, last week on game day, we almost saw a 27-point lead blown. So no game is ever over. Ricky Lane gets back to the 20. Chad Blunt, not that great of a drive there. But UCLA now, they've got to do something. If their defense can somehow get stops, they've got to start punching it in. They need some big plays of their own. Over the middle there, Marcus Vincent. Yeah, but it, I have to consider it as almost a comeback because they got back within one score on a 27-point it was 27-0. They got back within eight points, so you got to consider that close. They got within an onside kick of having a chance. All right, third and two. UCLA really does not need a three and out here. Three-man front, only six in the box. Oh, quick option. Trace, can he get there? He does. Big conversion for Trace. Risky call for sure, but Yui knows what she's doing. Yui, one of our, um, started out at Hawaii, moved over to UCLA. Oh, a little counter. Cut up inside for Pinball Sampson. Beautiful. Coach Yui has one of the toughest starts to her career as a, as a coach in the SFA, but she's stuck with it. Now she's seeing the results. Um, two win, two and two. Definitely her best season so far is uh, the quick option. You can't call that two twice. If you're lucky enough to get away with it once, it's not going to happen again. <laughs> no one wants to talk about Hawaii Yui. All right. They are 70% on third down today, so hopefully they can continue it here. 
third and eight. Oh, a QB draw, and Trace goes down. So looks like we'll be punting it back to Chad Barber. Or not Chad Barber, Chad Blunt. All right, what can they do on this drive? Looks like, oh boy, we've got some Wildcat as Seymour is back in. He takes that one for negative two yards. So could this be the turning point UCLA needs? It seems since Jason Matthews came into the game as the backup, UCLA was uh, cooking. So now that Seymour is back, oh man, they come out in Wildcat again. So interesting calls as... Uh, as they've been killing them through the air. I'm not sure why we're just running a design draw plays. Third and 15 now. So Cal all of a sudden shitting themselves. Kind of a similar situation to the playoff game last year. They had the lead in the third quarter and then they just kind of stopped. But watch out Toth at the bottom of the screen. Killing this team all day long and they're going to do it again. Toth again. No, that's Eric Thompson. But it's another uh, conversion. <laughs> all right and another play going backwards so sean seymour just not doing anything today spurlock on the talk tackle Thirty-one seventeen. Second and 11. Triple option incoming, Chad. Oh, he didn't get the pitch off. That could have been special. Third and eight incoming. Another chance for UCLA. As we're heading to about that 12-minute mark in game day where you've got to start making, making something happen if you're losing. Blunt. They bring a blitz. And somehow it's caught! The defender was all over Eric Thompson, and he somehow brought it in. What a catch. Chad Blunt put it on the back shoulder, and the defender just couldn't get there. Nothing is going right for this pass defense. I guess Chad Blunt is just that good. First and 10 now. Chad Blunt on the ground. Nothing doing. So UCLA is completely owning on uh, in the run game, but, you know, cannot say the same about the pass. Slot. Toth is in the slot. Two tight ends, though, out. Chad Blunt once again goes nowhere. Andy Dodd, his third tackle for loss. They're killing it here in the run game. But you've got to get off the field. Now, remember, they're outside the kicker's field goal range. Remember, he's terrible. And so if they get a stop right here, they should have to go for it. So, oh, my God, bring cover zero. They call a screen, and they finally make some good pass coverage. Shutting down the screen pass, losing some yardage. So I do not think that they're close enough to kick it. Yeah, I know. They're going for it here. Fourth and 12 as my alarm goes off. Forgot to take that off as Chad Blunt, fourth and 12. Dumps it off. Can he get there? No, and that's a turnover for UCLA. Massive. UCLA is still in this game, folks. Chad Blunt taking the Kirk Cousins approach to fourth down. And Yui lives. The Bruins trying to fight off 16 straight home losses. Trying not to make it 17. Trace doesn't do anything. Second and eight. 
Beautiful pass blocking there from AJ Sampson, and he finds Maurice Warren again, the top target so far. That's his 10th reception. Maurice Warren and Darius Toth popping off for both sides. But UCLA, they've got to start scoring. Remember, folks, after this game, recruiting will be happening. Um, in the meantime, it takes about an hour, so watch the watch party if you'd like to see some beaver ball. How about them honey bears? Who are the honey bears? And Rotten Crotch, who are uh, are you a coach or are you just uh, joining in? Oh, the honey bears, the golden bears of Cal. They're popping off today. Second and 16, but we're cheering for Yui today. We're not Chad Blunt stands. We are Yui fans. All right, Trace, come on. Dumps that one off. There's Warren again. Third and nine incoming. In my opinion, it's uh, four down territory now. Third and nine around at no man's land. You got to have it. Third and nine. They bring a blitz. They pick it up. Dumps that off. Broken tackle from Boyd, and uh, he can't quite get there. Dang. So probably a punt incoming, but as we head to the fourth quarter here for week six game day, Cal, it leads UCLA by two scores as it's been all Darius Toth and Chad Blunt connection today. Well, welcome, welcome in, Rotten Crotch. Hope you enjoy yourself. Fantastic name. Uh, we're an online dynasty, ran entirely through Discord. So if you want to be a coordinator and check it out, feel free to join. But uh, links in our descriptions as fourth down, and it's intercepted as we throw it deep. Oh, boy. So Cal taking over. Wait, there's a flag. So clipping doesn't seem to matter. It's on Daniel Ward on the return. So Cal will still maintain possession. So UCLA going to need to get some more stops here. All right, Chad Blunt again running it. So nothing doing again. So another third down and five. It looks like they might just be trying to run this clock out. Can Yui get off the field, get Trace back on it? I mean, once once UCLA has gone down and they have to start throwing it to a... Uh... God, dude, they give him the first down. Why? Oh, me and the Bruin are both throwing our hands up in anguish. Darius Toth just cannot be stopped. But yeah, I mean, when you're losing and you can't get your best player the ball, it's kind of rough. Chad Blunt showing why this team still should be a Pac-12 favorite. This passing offense is disgusting, which I, I knew it would be, but I didn't know to this extent. Like, they've just had their way. Watch out, Darius Toth, the bottom of your screen. Another third down, though, chance for Yui to get off the field. Yui, over the middle, and they somehow bring it in. Contested catch, Eric Thompson. Oh, my. Everything going right for Cal in the second half. Need a turnover or something. Seven minutes remaining in game day. Still still time. They bring down Blunt after five. Plenty of time. We've seen comebacks late under five minutes. But you got to get a stop. Split back sets, fakes the handoff. Blunt dumps this off to Matthews now. He has two touchdowns on the day, and he gets another first down. 
It seems UCLA's pass coverage has no interest in actually covering these receivers. 360 through the air for Blunt. Oh, what a move there from Seymour. Finally getting his legs running, and he breaks two. Remember, the over-under on this game, I believe, is in the 50s. So we're only at 48. So if you bet the over on this game, you're going to need a little bit more. Yeah, it's 53 and a half. So we're at, what is that, 48. So you need a touchdown. So a touchdown here hits the over. And a quick dump off there. It's a connection. He cuts outside. Brought down by Johnson. The Sickos parlay lost because ECU lost an overtime moon. Second and three. Seymour. First down again. Man, why does Moon got to get me in my feels? I, I forgot about the game already. Damn it. Ah, oh, why did I lose to Wisconsin, man? Of all teams. Now I need Wisconsin to be crazy good. Another decent tackle there. Uh, you've missed a lot, Emmett. Um, <coughs> yeah, that Vandy depression nap must have hit hard. Lots of upsets today. This is just one of those weeks. So second and 14, you, you got to do something. Toth in motion. He gets the rock. Toth up the middle. Darius Toth, another tutty. Single-handedly sending the Bruins to 17 games home losing. Ay, 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 as they extend the lead to 21. Yes, I put ECU money line on the Sickos parlay. Because you're coming off. Because 16 game home winning streak. Uh, I was. I think I was just high on the. Um, I was high on the uh, way we played Army. We won 55 10 in a Bear Cave setting. So I thought, oh, we'll just blow Wisconsin out. Didn't happen. Yeah, I know it's a curse, but I was feeling good. Hey, we're still up 9,000 on the sicko parlays, which is actually crazy to think about. Six weeks in. Six weeks in, you made 9K. You just got to consistently tail and you'll make money. If you just pop in every once in a while, you're going to probably lose because I'm now at this point two and four, but I'm up over, uh, I'm up over six. I'm up over 9,000. All right, third and 10, but I'm really happy with my over-unders. They all have hit uh, for the most part. Oh, what a play as fourth and 10. Now this game might get ugly. This is just not the same team we saw against SMU early on in the season. Man in motion, it's Samson. We haven't seen him hardly at all in the second half as Trace now floats it. That's going to be a, caught, a catch, so we're extending the drive now. As no, they're going to review it. This has dog water all over it. Did he pay? Did he pay off the refs to try to get UCLA to lose? To win the division? Is he threatened by Yui? Because there's no reason they should have even reviewed that. That was good in the NFL. So Dogwater maybe being exposed for uh, for money on Cal. All ref ball is now Dogwater as we get some Samson gameplay finally. And he gets a first down. Samson is a menace. Still four minutes left. This is far from over. They do need some quick touchdowns, though, as that one is deflected. Trace is a bit undersized, so that one made sense. Yeah, sure, Dog Order. Rooting, quote-unquote. 
Rooting for a division rival. Hmm. All right. And dumps that one off to Boyd, who's had a decent day today. A couple uh, interesting catches, but... Oh, damn. Cal cover even on the bear cave. You hate to see it. Wow. Everything pointing to another dog water uh, jail cell trip. Who do I add to the cell this week, Dogwater, huh? The Golden Bear? Lock you in a cage with that motherfucker? Fourth and five for Trace. He throws it open, man, and Samson makes the catch. Big time. I know there's a game last year where Samson dropped it on a, uh, on a similar play out of the backfield. This time he secures it. Third and ten. Or first and ten. Going to the end zone! And it's dropped! Oh, no! Broken up in, by the safety. Oh, man. Second and ten. Trace. To the end zone! Overthrows a wide open man! UCLA just can't get on the same page. And now we know why this team has struggled so mightily over the last few years. Just nothing seems to go right when they're at the Rose Bowl. Third and ten. Trace. Once again floating it. This time he connects. Broken tackle. First down. Blake Watts. Under three minutes left, obviously. Not nearly enough time, but they can score here. There's life. First and goal. <laughs> Trace, taken off. He has some room up the middle. Tavarius Trace, touchdown UCLA. They get back within two scores. <coughs> get to listen to that beautiful music one more time. As we now likely get an onside kick here. Down 14. Yep, here it comes. So if they could get this one, there's a chance. Boom. Oh, baby! UCLA gets it! We have a game brewing, boys! UCLA gets the rock right back. Trace has the ball over the middle. It's caught. There's life. If they can score before those three timeouts come off the board, they have a chance. So they have to score before a minute mark, and you have somewhat of a chance. Can we see a miraculous comeback? Second and two. They got the hardest part of the comeback done, the onside kick. Maurice Warren with a catch. You got to hurry it up now. Life has been injected back into this game. Tavares Trace, 40th throw on the day. Clock is ticking. He makes an adjustment. Trace, nice pocket this time. He takes off and he falls. Oh, no. Trace falls for eight. His offensive lineman takes him down. They give the sack to Ward, his fifth of the day. Breaking records out here. Daniel Ward... All right, second and 18 now. Clock is ticking. Remember, you cannot use those timeouts. Trace taking off again and uh, nothing. So third and 18, you've got to get a touchdown. Refs are fudging the uh, the stat line. Another case of, uh, of dog water. All right, Trace off of the foot and double coverage. No can do. Fourth and 18. Game on the line right here. You got to be calling four verts. Fourth and 18. Game on the line. He throws and dumps that off, and that's a turnover. But it is a school record for Maurice Warren. 14 catches on the day. Congratulations to him. But Cal takes over now. 
So three timeouts left. They do nothing with the onside kick, unfortunately. <laughs> Up the middle again. Just running out the clock now. Chad Blunt again as they use the timeout. So Yui not giving up. They're going to have to get another uh, another onside kick, though, unfortunately. Can we get a big play here? That's going out of the back of the end zone. What a boot. So things got a little bit interesting here in the fourth quarter. But Cal maintains a two-score lead. It would have to be something very special from UCLA. But it just seems like a little bit too big of a mountain to climb here this late. This defense has been ridiculous today. But, I mean, the, the story of the day has been Cal's passing offense and Darius Toth. Just an all-timer all -timer performance. As All right, there's Trace to Warren again, who... Breaks the record, or extends his record, 15 receptions on the day. Massive. Trace, he's throwing that one to the boundary. There you go, Adam Boyd now. Looks like we are just a little bit too late, but UCLA trying to get this back within a score. This line was only three and a half, though, so a lot of work to cover. The over has already hit as we hand it off to Sampson. Not sure why. 39 seconds. Clock is ticking. You need a touchdown. They're going to spike the ball here. 44 passes on the day for Trace. You know when you see that many passes, likely UCLA is not winning the game. Third and nine now. Hands it off again, and Thompson, he can't quite get there. Clock continues to run. I'm not sure why you decide to run the game. Is uh, Yui just throwing in the towel here? 20 seconds left. Floats that out, and it's a turnover. Traverius Trace overthrows his wide receiver who is wide open, and that's going to end the game. Warren wide open once again on the sideline, but that cross body is so tough for him, I guess. So, And as we hit triple zeros here in the Rose Bowl, Cal comes in, takes care of business behind the arm of Chad Blunt in the play of Darius Toth as Cal wins 38-24, getting back over 500, and UCLA's losing streak at home is extended to 17. Thanks for watching, guys. We will see you next week. Disappointing result, but a fun game day. See you later, Yui. Hopefully you'll wake up to a recruit if you pitched. Tough game, Cal... Uh, I mean, just playing in a way, better team. The the defense, it was their fault this time. You know, Trace, you can't really blame him today. He made a few errors, but nothing game-breaking. But look at Toth's stat line. I mean, 280 total yards, three touchdowns. What can you do there? Toth just single-handedly killing UCLA today. All right, so we'll check out stats, and then we'll end the stream. Another big week of games. Lots of upsets. These, uh, stand, or these rankings are going to be wild. Um... Remember, after the stream, I'm going to post game results. I'm going to post conference standings. Um, I'm going to post uh, recruits.
Uh, while you're waiting on recruits, the uh, Patreon game of the week, uh, Texas A&M and BYU will go live on YouTube if you want to watch that while you're waiting. Um, so yeah, let's dive into the stats here. I mean, it started out slow, but four touchdowns in one quarter for Cal, two big Roth touchdowns. Uh, that might be our biggest scoring quarter we've ever had on a game day, 42 points. That's wild. And then it kind of slowed down the second half as uh, Cal just tried to run out the clock and UCLA couldn't come back. Uh, Chad Blunt, fantastic day. Uh, rushing the ball, not so much. Uh, they didn't really do too hot today on the ground, except for, obviously, Darius Toth. He was just too hot today. Um, yeah, He was the story of the day, day, just carrying this offense. And then on defense, they did get an interception from Mike Young. Um, but outside of that, the five sacks from Daniel Ward were insane. And then UCLA, let's check out the offense first. Tavares Trace, good day through the air considering he just didn't have the, the touchdowns. He did have the one pick. Um, A.J. Sampson, you would have liked him to get more touches, but unfortunately when you're losing by so much, you're going to have to pass. And a big day for Maurice Warren. It just wasn't enough, unfortunately. And then... Um, if you look at the defense, Keith Johnson had a great day, but they didn't find any extracurricular plays, really. No sacks, uh, no interceptions. So that's that's kind of where they're – and then the pass defense obviously was just ridiculously bad. Um, well, let's check out the players of the game, and then we will end the stream. All right, players of the game here. Obviously, Darius Toth and uh, Daniel Ward having themselves great days. Keith Johnson gets it on the defensive end. All right, so thank you guys all for watching another week of the SFA. Uh, feel free to follow the new Instagram, but um, yeah, thank you for watching as always. Really appreciate it, um, and I will see you guys later. See ya.